Hi, I'm Deb. I work at the Disruptive Media Learning Lab based at the Coventry campus within the Lanchester Library. I'm here today to talk to you about netiquette. Now, netiquette is a fairly new word, so we'll start off by explaining what netiquette is and why it's important, and then go into some top tips on how you can practice netiquette across all areas of your life, wherever you are interacting with others online. So before we get started, as I am communicating with you today online, I want to say a big thank you for turning up and I hope you enjoy the lesson. The word netiquette is a combination of net from the internet and etiquette. A simple definition of netiquette is showing courtesy and respect to other internet users, just as you would in real life. And when we say internet, this doesn't just mean social media sites such as TikTok or Twitter. Netica expands across all online spaces, from online learning platforms, emails, right through to virtual meetings or classrooms. Basically, anywhere that you are communicating in a digital environment. When communicating electronically, whether through email, instant message, discussion post, text or some other method, Always practice the golden rule. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Remember, your written words are read by real people, all deserving of respectful communication. So what does good etiquette look like? Recognise that online platforms that are used for communication in any setting are an extension of that community. The online world isn't a brand new world in which anything goes simply because the ability to physically be in the same space has been removed, but rather a new dimension of the world around us in which we have the power to make a positive change, choice and have a great experience. As much more of our personal and professional lives move into the digital realm, values around courtesy, kindness, openness, and treating others with the same respect we wish to receive should be carried with us. Most internet users automatically apply the same responsible behavior online as they do in every other environment, and by nature, apply an etiquette without even realizing it. However, without a sound understanding, we run the risk of displaying abusive or cyberbullying type behavior unconsciously. Netica exists to help people communicate more effectively whilst online, and to avoid unnecessary misunderstandings and potential conflicts. Written communication takes place without the benefit of body language, tone of voice or facial expressions, which means there can be uncertainty about what someone is really saying. This is why most websites and social media platforms where users can communicate in this way have accepted rules of behaviour. These codes of practice have been developed to ensure people are able to communicate clearly and to avoid misunderstandings. Before hitting the post button on a communication you expect a response from, it's always a good idea to think first about the space you are using. If you're communicating in a space that is generally used for updates or informal chat, this may not, for example, be the best place to expect an answer to an important question from C or lecturer or line manager. Apply good netiquette and you will not only have a much more positive and enjoyable experience, but you will also find that collaborating, networking and even potential job opportunities can be obtained simply by applying netiquette as a way of building great relationships. The following top tips will help you to keep things positive online. If someone isn't comfortable sharing information with you, try not to push or pressure them into doing so. Also, never share other people's personal information such as addresses, phone numbers or emails without permission in an online space. Be aware of the language you use online. Although you might not believe it to be funny or harmless, another person might take offence to it or find it upsetting. Remember, trust and rapport is hard to earn and easily lost. Emojis or emoticons have now become a recognised language in their own right. Make sure that if you use emojis, you are using one that is appropriate for the emotion that you are trying to convey. They can easily change the context of an entire conversation. 
The beauty of our nine spaces relies on varying and diverse opinions and beliefs. As in a physical classroom setting, allow others to share their views without the conversation becoming heated or turning into an argument, regardless of your personal opinion. Remember that an actual person with real feelings, beliefs, imperfections and emotions is behind every message, email or comment. It's sometimes easy to get carried away and write something that you would not dream of saying to someone's face and can be mistaken for displaying bad netiquette or cyberbullying behaviour. And finally, be authentic. If you want to get the most out of communicating online, just be you. Making up false profiles and alter egos will only discourage people from talking openly with you and taking you seriously. Don't be afraid to express yourself openly and honestly. Netika is not about restricting expression, but making it easier for people to understand. We're coming to the end of the lesson now, but I just wanted to leave you with one final thought. Much of your university life will revolve around online platforms to support your studies and keep you connected to your lecturers and peers. We are all part of one community, all wanting you to succeed and have the best student experience possible. So whether you're on Aula, sending emails or in an online lecture, keep it real, stay positive and be kind. Thank you.